Welcome to Gucci Spark, please get rumptious, delicious Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we're doing you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. And let's take a look at, um, sorry, I almost called you cancer, baby. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, the Hermit came out. Okay, someone's feeling lonely. The Moon, um, uncertainty, Five of Cups, disappointment, Nine of Pentacles. Two people are single. You're feeling single in the situation with this person. You know, we're always assuming some kind of a rift or separation when it comes to the you versus them reading. But definitely this is a separation. Two people feeling single, feeling sad, longing for, uh, you know, longing for the other. Oh, so much longing today. You know, the energy has been really, really deep and beautiful. Uh, we just uh, did a live yesterday and we just did a live today. <clears throat> uh, and, you know, we've been inviting a lot of the deeper spirits to the lives, to your readings and the lives. And I, I really feel it, you know, that they do linger in, in my space. Uh, so I feel like a lot of the messages uh, are coming from, uh, it's nighttime here in Cyprus, so they're coming from the night, they're coming from the stars, from the moon, a lot of moon energy and star energy, look, star. <laughs> this is your person's feelings for you. They, you know, they still aspire to something here. You are still their star. They're no star, they're shining little bit, Bill miss you they miss you Whew. a lot of broke why is everyone so broken hearted this month mars is coming in with you know vitality uh renewed life we should be you know we should put, i'll be out there getting it but someone's really just broken hearted they're pining for you they're reminiscing if you think they moved on they haven't but, but definitely not they're still mad at you though they think <laughs> They're blaming you for something. They think you're a fool. They think you uh, let them go or push them away. You know, something like maybe push them away as like there's something about uh, your person feeling like you were foolish in the situation. They wish you had been more understanding or given the situation more of a chance. Let's see. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So I'm not calling you out, Libra. It's just that's how they feel about it. So. Uh, let's see. Please show me your rules. What happened in the past to make the situation so? Also, Libra, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I stay baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. I love you so much, Libra. You are my scrumptious little star. Oh, I just got a message from a friend of mine. Synchronicities. You might be getting a massage. If you're waiting on a massage, you'll get it, but it's coming delayed. Yeah, conflict. This person was prone to conflict. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius for some reason that's coming through, or a Taurus. Um, the Five of Wands here is a lot of conflict. This is what this person brought into the situation. Uh, they just wouldn't let down, and the Empress. So it was a bit of a power struggle over who's going to be in charge of the situation, who's going to be boss, who's going to have the last more heard. You know, somebody tried to dominate you here a little bit. They wanted to be in charge. They wanted to have the last word. <laughs> and the hermit. Mm. You felt so alone. You felt like this person wasn't cooperating with you. So I think this person had a tendency. Could be a little bit of a narcissistic energy too. So, you know, nobody's perfect, right? Uh, I don't think this is a full narcissist, but they have tendencies. I think somebody who, um, if it was a long-term connection, it's somebody who was always like, you know, pushing for conflict, but then they would deny it. They'd be passive aggressive about it. Be like, well, I'm just trying to trying to find solutions. And like, you know, it's it's your fault, Libra, because you're always like, you know, you don't want to talk to me or you're trying to isolate yourself from me or something like that, you know? But the truth is they weren't cooperative because their idea of like resolving the issues and the arguments or, you know, whatever was going on between the two of you was like basically it, it was all about their way. They just wanted to get their way. Um, and you were vibing with that because Libra doesn't take that kind of ish, you know, Libra, Libra is the intellect and it's, you're all about justice and balance. So you're like, well, I mean, I smell lies. I smell lies. And this person would like blame it on you and be like, well, you why are you so difficult? Why are you so, you know, like, <laughs> you know, whatever, like difficult women kind of situation or, or difficult men or anyone in between. But you know what I mean? It's that trope of that, the, the difficult woman that's coming up here. So it's going to resonate for someone. It's not for everyone, baby. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? The scary woman, you know, or the vamp or, you know, the demanding nag, something like that. Somebody's trying to put you in a box. 
they were trying to manipulate you and gaslight you in that way. Don't, you know, don't take anything they said seriously. They were just saying it because they wanted to win arguments. If it was a new connection, a bimbo, himbo, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday. I see somebody here. <sighs> I see somebody here who felt like you... You didn't fall on your um, knees before them. I think this person is used, this is that emperor energy. I think this person is used to praise or worship or adoration. They, they're either like super cute, pretty, handsome, beautiful, whatever, or they're uh, kind of rich or important, could be a very important person. It's one of those people who are gonna be like, do you know who I am kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I'm a really big deal, and I've, I have a lot of leather-bound books, you know what I mean? Like, this person has a lot of leather-bound books. And they didn't like the fact that Libra was not impressed by this, because you're, you're not. Libra, like I said, you're just as balanced karma. You're not by stuff like that your universal justice so you're in that hermit energy here not responding to their drama not responding to their games of trying to get um you know <laughs> get you to worship so that's yeah i see now why they think you're a fool they're like well why did libra why was libra not impressed by me i'm so scrumptious i'm so amazing i have so many leather bound books like what is going on with you libra can you not read mm, the ten of pentacles uh, for what they're intending to do. Uh, they, they want some kind of reconciliation here. Uh, I think they see with marriage material or uh, um, potential. I think this person is a little bit, I think the person is just a little bit egotistical and I think they've been spoiled by life. I think they went through life expecting things from people, getting things from people that they didn't deserve because of their status or looks. So you're the first person that like w was like, no, <laughs> hell no. You're the first one who stood up to them and they think it's kind of sex sexy and interesting and intriguing, but at the same time, because they're the emperor, you know, it's difficult for them to adjust and they need some time. They're not going to reach out anytime soon. If you're at an impasse, if it's like a silence kind of situation, it's going to take them a while, 10 of swords. I think, you know, in a way, even though, even though this person is coming across as kind of like egotistical and stuff, they're actually hurt by what happened here. They're hurt that you didn't, you know, <laughs> fall down to your knees they're like mm, why does Libra not love me it's just their standard of like demanding entitlement what they expect from a relationship or, or connection is like on such a high level that like the fact that you didn't like applaud every little thing they did really hurt them <laughs> they have a fragile little ego it's a little bit little bit of a narcissist alert I would say just a little bit this person is going to come back around the two of cups <laughs> it will take another um couple of weeks maybe a couple of months um could be a while you know because they need to process what happened here they feel rejected by you they're blaming you for being full <laughs> oh libra let's get some advice for you aren't people funny huh love is such a losing game isn't it oh no really you both got the Ten of Swords here. What's that about? You're working through something. You're working through your own relationship karma with this person. Somebody could be triggering things in you that were dormant from the past. It's a good thing. It's almost like a good thing has happened. You know, this rift or separation is good for you in a way because it's bringing old stuff up for you that you can finish. It's finishing a cycle, finishing, you know, working through things, the unresolved things from the past, you know, carried on from past relationships, disappointments, heartbreak. And it's actually the same for this person. It's, it's quite a karmic relationship, um, which uh, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I don't read karmic as like a bad thing. I don't think that's the case. I think there's some karma between the two of you. Um, and it's like you're re releasing each other's karma. It's like, you know, in death here. <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it's the end of something. I think this person is in the long term not going to be able to forget you. They're going to reach out if you leave things as they are, if you don't reach out yourself. But um, I think there's a call here from the angels to if you're going to rekindle, start again uh, completely. You know, work through the issues, the darkness that you triggered in each other and forgive each other and move on. And I think you could be very happy together. I'm sure there too many cards. You'll be quite happy together. Uh, it's just a matter of, um, you know, working through uh, the difficulties. All right, Libra, some of these readings are kind of, the readings are really, really deep and very spiritual today. Uh, so maybe let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button and like the video because liking and sus subscribing especially really, really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box 
below together with information about my other magical services. Uh, also, Libra, thank you for coming to the live today. I, I'm probably going to post this after the live. Uh, we had a nice time, I, I'm hoping, with the Spirits of the Dead. So thank you for your support and your love. I'll be doing um, more lives this week. Maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay good, just stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. Give me another kissy, babe. Mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. <laughs>